I now declare the 49th annual Piedmont Virginia Community College graduation exercises open. Please stand, if you're not already, as we have our national anthem. Thank you. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Please be seated, everybody. On behalf of the College Board and the faculty, staff, and administration of Piedmont Virginia Community College, welcome to PVCC's 49th Annual Commencement. I must tell you, after two years of not being able to hold a live commencement, it is sure good to see all of you here. Welcome back. A little history. In 1972, PVCC opened with an enrollment of 462 students. Classes were actually offered at Albemarle High School because the main building did not open until a year later. From those humble beginnings, PVCC has come a long way. Last fall, we enrolled over 5,000 students in credit classes and another 2,000 in non-credit classes. Each year, over 10,000 students enroll in one or, more one or more classes at PVCC. Today we offer classes in four campus buildings, the original main academic building, the v, or D v. Oral Dickinson building, the former Monticello Visitor Center, which is now the Stoltz Center for Business and Career Development, and the Keats Science building. We also offer courses at the Giuseppe Center in Greene County, and at the Jefferson School City Center in Charlottesville. And very soon, June 7, we will break ground on the next building on campus, a $25 million, 45,000 square foot building, which will be named the Woodrow W. Bullock Advanced Technology, Advanced Technology and Student Success Center, which will be the first net zero building in the Virginia Community College system, meaning it will be 100% alternative energy. <laughs> this past year, one out of every five high school graduates in Central Virginia enrolled at PVCC, and almost 2,000 high school students earned college credit while in high school through our dual enrollment program. Over 1,000 PVCC students each year transfer to a four-year college or university to pursue a bachelor's degree, including anywhere between two and 400 each year here to the University of Virginia. Over the years, over 4,000 students have transferred 
from PVCC to our good friend and neighbor, UVA. Since its opening, PVCC has educated over 250,000 students, and tonight's 800 graduates brings that total to almost 20,000. We believe that PVCC truly is the community's college. We're now going to deviate just slightly from the programs that you all have because two of our honorees are unable to stay for the whole ceremony due to a prior commitment. So we've moved up honoring them to this point in the ceremony so that they can then go on their way. I'm going to award the PVCC medallion. Only 15 individuals have received the medallion in the college's 50-year history. The criteria for the medallion states the following. It is presented to an individual outside the college community who has rendered outstanding service to the college. Recipients shall be persons who through their special acts or sustained service have made an extraordinary contribution to the college, which the college wishes to recognize with its highest honorary award. Tonight, we present the PVCC medallion to Cynthia and Jim Stoltz. And I'm going to ask them to come on forward. And while they come forward, let me tell you why they are receiving the medallion. First, let me say this about Cynthia. Cynthia has served on the PVCC Foundation Board since 2017, and she had previously completed two terms between 2010 and 2015. She also served as president of our PVCC Foundation in 2020 and 21, and provided leadership for the largest and most successful fundraising campaign in the history of the college. Jim Stoltz has served as a member of the Board of Directors of the PVCC Real Estate Foundation since its inception in 2006. He served as the chair since 2016. In fact, to be honest, he recruited about every single member on that foundation. They are also being recognized for their extraordinarily generous gifts to the college. These gifts have already been honored with the naming of the Stoltz Center for Business and Career Development. And as I just mentioned, the building we're about to break ground on, the Woodrow W. Bullock Advanced Technology and Student Success Center, which is being named in honor of Cynthia's father, who was on the first board for PVCC. Both of them have served as not only great friends, but trusted advisors to me on matters pertaining to fundraising, real estate, workforce development, and everything else they told me to do. So it is my great pleasure and honor to award the PVCC medallion to Cynthia Stoltz and Jim Stoltz. Okay, back to our agenda. It's now my pleasure to introduce to you our platform party. Ben Copeland, our Vice President for Finance and Administrative Services. John Donnelly, our Vice President for Instruction in Student Services. You heard from Tom Heider, our Professor of English and Marshall. Tiara Strait, the speaker for the graduating class. You'll hear from her very soon. And how about our Dean of Students, Andrew Renshaw? Wasn't that national anthem tremendous? Not many colleges have a dean who can sing like that. 
And we have a number of our college board members here. Let me introduce them. Lola Richardson, the chair of the board from Louisa County. <laughs> Representing Albemarle County, we have Madison Cummings. <laughs> Dr. Charles DeSance. Alfreda Morris. And PJ Rooney. <laughs> Representing Buckingham County, Joseph Scruggs. Representing the city of Charlottesville, Dr. Pam de Guzman and Janet Morrow. And representing Nelson County, Thomas Prue. In our audience tonight, we have many special guests, actually too many to introduce individually. We welcome collectively the members of Charlottesville City Council, the boards of supervisors of the six counties we serve, civic and business leaders from Central Virginia, fellow educators from our area school systems, including some of our local superintendents and school board members, members of the PVCC Educational Foundation Board, and former members of our college board. Now this is dangerous, but there are a couple of names I really do need to say. And for those whom I leave out, just blame it on me getting old. Um, but I do want to recognize a couple of folks. First, my good friend and colleague, the president of Southside Virginia Community College, Quentin Johnson. Quentin's right over there. And Quentin is here because he has a son graduating tonight. Congratulations, Quentin. Um, next, I want to recognize our good friend, Delegate Rob Bell. I must tell you that in all the years I've been president, I don't think Rob has missed a single PVCC graduation. And in fact, we always joke around together, he always has a speech in his back pocket in case the speaker, for some reason, doesn't show up. Rob is ready to be the pinch hitter. Thanks, Rob. And lastly, so that I can still go home tonight, my wife Sue is over there. Oh, and, and newcomers who surprised me, my son Alex and his wife Stephanie. All right, now I want to introduce you to the real stars of tonight's show, the graduating class of 2022. Now, most of you in the audience, yeah, yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> now, most of you in the audience know one of these graduates really well, but I'm going to let you meet all of them at once. All right, graduates, this is interactive now, so stay awake and stay with me. First, all the graduates, please stand. Now, you all get a look at all them down here. All right, now you can sit. You'll, you'll get this rhythm. There's a rhythm to this. All right, graduates, stand if you came to PVCC within one year of your high school graduation. So right after high school, if you came. Okay. All right, let's go the other way. Please stand if you came to PVCC after more than 15 years after you graduated from high school. All right, let's keep introducing. Please stand if you were homeschooled. Let's go to the other side. Please stand if you already had a college degree from somewhere else before you came to PVCC for another degree. Please stand if you were born somewhere other than the United States. And this might be the same group, but please, span, please stand if you speak a language other than English at home. You're starting to get the picture, aren't you? This is not your typical 18, 19, 20 year old 
right out of high school graduating class. Community college students are incredibly diverse and come from so many different backgrounds. Let's keep going a little bit. Please stand if you are veterans or active duty military. Thank you to each of you. All right, please stand if you had a scholarship, a grant, or some form of final financial aid to help you pay for your education. Please stand. All right, for every elected official in the audience, that's taxpayer money well spent. Please stand if you had any part of your education paid for by your employer. Anybody? Yeah. And now, please stand if while you were taking classes, you also held down a job 30 hours a week or more. That is a very unique form of financial aid called hard work. How many of you will graduate with no debt? Stand. We hear an awful lot about how student debt is crushing people. One solution to that is go to a community college. How many of you are parents? Let's see how many of you are parents. Any grandparents? Any grandparents? There they are. All right, and then I have one faculty member always likes when I say, and now the trifecta. Um, how many are parents, held down a job, and were college students all at the same time? How many are the first in your immediate family to earn a college degree? And now, a quick look at your futures. How many next year will be attending a four-year college or university? And going down. You're getting your exercise this way, I know. How many of you are coming right here to UVA? Please stand. And for those who are not going on to transfer, how many of you will be out in the, the world of work and you've already got a job lined up? All right. And the very last question, you better be careful how you answer this one. How many feel that the time, the effort, and the money you devoted to earning this degree was worth it? All right. All right, folks, there they are. That's the diverse, multi-talented, hardworking, exceptional PVCC graduating class of 2022. Let's hear it for them. Now, if the graduates are the stars of tonight's show, and they are, then I know who gets the award for the best supporting cast. And that goes to the PVCC faculty and staff who are the hardest working, most dedicated, most caring faculty and staff you will find anywhere. Will the PVCC faculty and staff please stand and let's recognize them.
And now it's my pleasure to introduce to you the chair of the PVCC board, Lola Richardson. Good evening. You are a sea of beauty. You need to be up here and see the view that I am looking at. You are simply beautiful. Dr. Freeman, honored guests, members of the faculty, colleagues, and our distinguished graduates, the class of 2022. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to PVCC's 49th commencement exercise this evening. As chairperson of the PVCC College Board, I extend our warmest welcome and congratulations to all of our graduates and acknowledge the support that has helped our graduates along the way. To all family, friends, and faculty with us today, we thank you for allowing our graduates to stand on your shoulders to get to this moment of celebration. And we thank you for being a part of the PVCC family. Welcome and congratulations. Now, to add more beauty, since this is a celebration, we are going, I have the pleasure, the distinct honor, to introduce our speaker for the evening. It has been a pleasure for me and the board to work alongside our speaker for the past six years. He is warm in speech, caring in thought, and poised in demeanor. Everything in life has its time. This is a time for reflection and new transformation. As you all know, Dr. Freeman, the fifth president of PVCC, will retire on June 30th. He has served as PVCC's president since 1999. Dr. Freeman holds a doctorate in educational psychology and a master's degree in experimental psychology from Purdue University and a bachelor's degree in psychology from Muhlenberg College. His entire career has been in the community college environment. Dr. Friedman has always been driven by a true desire to help students succeed and a community strive. I cannot count the number of lives he has changed in his 23 years at PVCC. Dr. Friedman lives the mission of the college to provide opportunity, access, and excellence. Dr. Friedman has made the PVCC College a household word nationally and internationally. I introduce you to our commencement speaker, Dr. Frank Friedman. I know, you're all going, what's he doing up there again? Well, there is a tradition in higher education that a retiring college president shall be the commencement speaker at the, the, his last commencement. So, sorry, but you're stuck with me. Um, but I must tell you, over the course of my 20 feet, 24 PVCC graduations, we've had some really noteworthy commencement speakers. We've had governors, we've had senators, congressmen, judges, we've had the University of Virginia president. Uh, a couple years ago, we had Muhammad Ali's daughter, Rashida. That was really quite interesting and special. And years ago, we even had a Thomas Jefferson impersonator. Um, but don't ask me about that one, it didn't go very well. It was my idea and they still tease me over that. Um, so here you are with me. Now, as, as Lola said, I've been working in community colleges as a faculty member, administrator, and now president for 45 years, so since 1977. And last night, I was saying to my wife, Sue, I, I was saying, in your wildest dreams, 
did you ever think I'd be up here in front of an audience like this doing a commencement speech? And you know what she said? She said, Frank, you're not in my wildest dreams. <laughs> I'll, I'll hear about that later. <laughs> In preparing my remarks, I did try to learn from all those past speakers. What did I learn? Keep it short. People are here to see their loved ones get their diploma. They're really not here to listen to the speaker. And in all those years, not a single person ever complained to me that a graduation speech was too short. So that tells you something. On the other hand, a graduation speaker is supposed to give the graduates something to think about. So I'm going to try to hit it right down the middle of the fairway and keep it short, but also give you something to think about. So here goes. Graduates tonight, we're celebrating your earning a degree or a certificate. Those are credentials, and they're credentials that you need, you want, and congratulations for earning. I don't want to talk about credentials. I want to talk about learning. What did you learn in the years you were at PVCC? And how did you grow and develop as a person? Now, when you think about what you learned, there's thousands of things you learned, right? You might have learned the rules of grammar in an English class, how to factor a polynomial in a, in a math class. Um, you might have learned the scientific method you might have learned the reasons, the causes of the Revolutionary War, or the Civil War, or World War I, or World War II, or the Korean War, the Vietnam War, the Gulf War. Too many wars to learn about, right? You might have learned in my field, psychology, about Sigmund Freud's theory. You might have learned something in your career. If you're in healthcare, maybe you learned to administer an IV. You learned in radiography to x-ray a knee. Um, how to use a 3D printer, on and on. You learned thousands of bits of knowledge and skills. Now, unfortunately, you probably forgot an awful lot of them as soon as you took your final exam. And if you haven't forgotten them yet, you're still working on it. You'll probably forget them pretty soon. But that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about a set of outcomes that are quite different. Outcomes that don't come from a specific course, but from your overall college experience. They're, they're more like indirect outcomes. They come from what I call a hidden curriculum. They're actually the outcomes that prepare you for a life well lived. They're the outcomes that will help define you as a person, perhaps for the rest of your life. They are the outcomes that I hope you achieved during your years at PVCC. And I'm going to keep it brief, but I'm going to quickly describe six outcomes. And I want you to be asking yourself on each one, where do I stand on that? How have I developed in that area? First, have you developed a passion for excellence? Do you strive to do your best no matter what? Not because of external rewards, but because it's inside you. You want to do things well. Martin Luther King Jr. put it this way. If a man is called to be a street sweeper, he should sweep streets even as Michelangelo painted, or Beethoven composed music, or Shakespeare wrote poetry. He should sweep streets so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth will pause to say, here lived a great sweet street sweeper who did his job well. If you have that passion for excellence, it will motivate you. It will actually separate you from the people who just want to get by, just do the minimum, just be average. That passion for excellence will propel you. And I must tell you, I interview loads of folks for positions at PVCC, and if I could just determine who has that passion for excellence, that is the one I would hire every single time. Number two, have you developed leadership skills? 
are you prepared to be a leader? Now, you don't have to be a college president or an army general to be a leader. Everyone can be a leader. Peter Drucker years ago said, managers do, the, do things right. Leaders do the right things. What are the right things for your business or your organization or your family? Leaders have a vision. They can identify a problem or an opportunity for improvement, and they have the passion, the commitment to do something about it. They inspire others to join them. They take initiative. Our world needs people like that. So I ask you, are you prepared to be a leader? Third outcome, citizenship. You are a citizen in this great democracy we call the United States. PVCC has hopefully impressed upon you that you are part of a community, local, state, national, and you should care about that community. We want you to be informed on the important issues shaping your community. We want you to be able to think critically about that. We want you to seek out both sides of arguments rather than just look at one and evaluate what is being said on each side and use that critical thinking you developed at PVCC to make your own decisions. We want you to be engaged in the future, whether it's in your PTO, a civic organization, your religious organization, wherever. And most important, we want you to vote. Thomas Jefferson, you can't have a speech at UVA without Thomas Jefferson, right? Thomas Jefferson a long time ago said, we in America do not have government by the majority. We have government by the majority who participate. So PVCC grads, are you gonna participate? Are you gonna use those critical thinking skills to separate fact from fi fiction, fact from opinion, fact from conspiracy theory. America needs informed, critical, participating citizens if our democracy is going to survive. Fourth outcome, tolerance. What's tolerance? It's understanding. It's empathy. Tolerance means that you're going to practice forgiveness rather than punishment and revenge. You're going to stop assuming the worst of everyone. And you're going to shed that belief that you are always right. Anybody who thinks differently must be wrong, and they must be hated and punished. Divisiveness serves no one. It inhibits progress. Tolerance of other ideas, other lifestyles, other people will start to end the divisiveness that currently grips our nation. Number five, we're almost there, civility. Civility does not mean being polite and never disagreeing with someone. Civility involves caring very deeply for what you believe and what you think needs to be done. But you do it without degrading someone else in the process. The hidden curriculum of PVCC teaches you to live in a marketplace of ideas. How do you deal with someone who's just spouting ideas you hate? Do you deny them the opportunity to speak? Do you call them names? I sure hope not. You know, name calling should have stopped when you were about third grade. There's no reason for it as an adult if you have come through and mastered these outcomes. How do you counter bad speech? You do it with better speech. How do you counter bad ideas with better ideas, not censorship? It's only those who cannot present a good idea who stoop to censorship and name calling. To honor the Constitution and the principles of free speech, we must allow even the ideas we despise, even the voices of hate, need to be heard. But we must counter them with tolerance and love. Again, quoting Martin Luther King Jr., darkness, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. And hate 
cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Last one. Do you believe in yourself? Do you have confidence in yourself? You need to. You control your future. I know there's, sometimes you get lucky. There are external forces. But again, quoting Thomas Jefferson, Jefferson said, I'm a great believer in luck. And I find the harder I work, the more I have of it. Or as William Jennings Bryan said, destiny is not a matter of chance, it's a matter of choice. It's not a thing to be waited for, it's a thing to be achieved. You make the decisions that chart the course of your life. You need to see yourself as capable, as worthy of good things. You'll then, if you have that belief in yourself, be able to develop all those other things I talked about. The passion for excellence, the leadership, the critical thinking, the civility. But if you don't believe in yourself, you're not going to be able to do that. So graduates, six outcomes. Where do you stand on those? Do you have a passion for excellence? Are you ready to lead? Are you going to be active citizens? Are you going to practice tolerance of others? Will you practice civility? And will you believe in yourself? Where you stand on these outcomes will probably have a greater impact on your life and your ability to reach self-fulfillment than the thousands of bits of knowledge and skills you learned in your courses. Unlike your college courses, the hidden curriculum will actually continue for the rest of your life. You can improve on every one of those six if first you agree that they're important and second you agree to keep working at it. Be aware of your behavior on each. You can control yourself and you can serve as that role model for others, especially those of you who have children. I've spent the past 45 years as a faculty member and an administrator at a community college. During those years, something like a half a million students have attended those colleges. Why did I devote my life to this with such passion? Because I believe that education holds the key to a better life, a better job, a better career, greater health, greater happiness, a more fulfilling life. I hope and I believe that PVCC has launched each of you on that journey to a better life through the development of these six outcomes. So graduates, continue to build on that. And in the famous words of Mr. Spock, live long and prosper. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Friedman. Good evening, everyone. We now come to a very special part of our ceremony awards. First, I would like to recognize the achievement of two students in our honor society, Phi Theta Kappa. PVC students Daisy Dudley and Elizabeth Jehoda Wasung were nominated for the All USA Community College Academic Team. This is a national competition among approximately 1,100 community colleges in the country, sponsored by Phi Theta Kappa, International Honor Society, the Coca-Cola Foundation, the Follett Higher Education Group, and the American Association of Community Colleges. The award recognizes student excellence in academics, leadership, and community service. In addition, Daisy Dudley was also selected for the top 10 All-Virginia Academic Team and a Coca-Cola Gold Scholar as one of the top 50 community college students in the nation. Pretty impressive. Daisy and Elizabeth, please stand and be recognized. I'd also like to recognize the recipient of the PVCC Distinguished Student Award. The PVCC Distinguished Student Award was established to recognize students who demonstrate exemplary service or leadership at the college and in the community. This year's recipient, as selected by the PVCC Awards Committee, is Caroline Shepard. Caroline served on numerous college committees, but distinguished herself by founding and leading the PVCC chapter of the National Society of Leadership and Success, also known as NSLS. Congratulations, Carolyn, and if you're here, please stand and be recognized. A 
I'd now like to move on to recognize our faculty and staff. First, I'd like to recognize the recipient of the Patricia N. Buck Distinguished Service Award. Named in honor of Pat Buck's distinguished 44-year career at PVCC, the PVCC Distinguished Service Award is presented to a faculty or staff member for outstanding service to the college and for leadership within the college and in professional activities. This year's honoree is our Director of Library Services, Crystal Newell. Crystal successfully leads the Betty Sue Jessup Library at PVCC, but she does so much more. She serves in leadership roles on various committees, not only at PVCC, but across the state. She leads new initiatives at the college, such as the One Book Project, and is a strong advocate community colleges, for community colleges in the Commonwealth. Again, Crystal, you stood up for a second, but stand up again to be recognized. I'd also like to recognize three outstanding individuals who will be retiring with the high honor of being named Professor Emeritus. Ms. Susan Hannafin, Director of Accessibility and Student Accommodations with 18 years of service. <laughs> Dr. Ben Sloan, Professor Emeritus of English with 18 years of service. And Dr. Tom Heider, Professor Emeritus of English with 35 years of service. And finally, I would like for Dr. Tom Heider to come forward. Um, in 2018, Dr. Heider became the sixth faculty marshal in the history of PVCC. This honorary position is given to the most senior faculty member in the rank of full professor. The faculty marshal leads the platform party convenes commencements and other official college ceremonies. Professor Heider retires this spring, and Tom, on behalf of the college, please accept this memento of your service as faculty marshal. Okay, graduates, it's now time. We're gonna make this official. Um, this is the time you've been waiting for, we're gonna make you official graduates of PVCC. So, this is another interactive um, activity for you. So, will all the candidates for degrees and certificates please rise? That means everybody stand. President Friedman, on the recommendation of the faculty of Piedmont Virginia Community College, I present to you the candidates for graduation. I certify that they have met all the requirements for their awards as specified by the Virginia State Board for Community Colleges. Candidates, I congratulate you on your achievement. By the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the State Board for Community Colleges, and the Piedmont Virginia Community College Board. I hereby confer the degrees and certificates with all the rights and privileges thereunto appertaining. You may now move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left, signaling your new status as a graduate. Congratulations, you may be seated. The graduates have now come forward to see, receive their diplomas. I encourage family members uh, and loved ones in the audience to come forward to take pictures of your graduates as they come across the stage. Air horns and uh, catcalls are welcome. Tierra Nicole Strait, Associate of Science Business Administration, magna cum laude. <laughs> Nicholas Christopher Moon, Associate of Science Business Administration, cum laude. <laughs> Tyler Scott Edge, Associate of Science Business Administration, magna cum laude. <laughs> Haley Hart Patterson, Associate of Arts, Fine Arts, Specialization in Art. 
Lydia May Wilson, Associate of Science General Studies, magna cum laude. Alexander Edward Creighton Bradford, Associate of Science General Studies, summa cum laude. Ann Heidel, Associate of Science General Studies, summa cum laude. Julia and Jeanette Bosevert, Associate of Science General Studies. Miles L. Coles, Associate of Science General Studies. Micah Henry Coles, Associate of Science General Studies, cum laude. Thank you, Philip Abraham, Associate of Science Engineering, magna cum laude. Akimi Fuji, Associate of Applied Science Nursing, magna cum laude. Duma Unichu Preston Demayev, Inicia Preston, Associate of Science, Science. Caitlin Dawn Kitchen, Associate of Science Diagnostic Medical Sonography, magna cum laude. Brittany Morgan Wright, Associate of Science, Business Administration. Ariel Christine Washburn, Career Study Certificate, Graphic and Media Arts. Cole Alexander Hamill, Associate of Science General Studies, magna cum laude. Saul Ujia Rosa, Jr., Associate of Science, Engineering. Yasir J. Perez, Associate of Science General Studies, magna cum laude. Julia Gail Brooks, Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts, Summa Cum Laude. Gladness Exude Masumonje, Career Study Certificate, Early Childhood Development, Preschool. Monica C. Lawson, Career Study Certificate, Early Childhood Development, Preschool. Tommy Min Triet Lay, Associate of Science General Studies, Summa Cum Laude. Tyler Nicholas Strickland, Associate of Science General Studies, cum laude. <laughs> Alexandra Marie Sh Scharf, Associate of Science General Studies, magna cum laude. <laughs> Joshua M. Bingley, Associate of Science General Studies, summa cum laude. <laughs> Andreas Gonzalez, Associate of Science General Studies, summa cum laude. Abigail M. Overton, Associate of Science General Studies, summa cum laude. Victoria Mindy Tibbetts, Associate of Science General Studies, summa cum laude. Brianna Marie Adderley, Associate of Science General Studies, summa cum laude. Ava A. Alvarez, Associate of Science General Studies, cum laude. Veronica Marie Esposito, Associate of Science General Studies, cum laude. Raviel Nasir, Associate of Science General Studies, cum laude. <laughs> Chloe Tate Davis, Associate of Science General Studies, magna cum laude. <laughs> Olivia Grace Adams, Associate of Science General Studies, summa cum laude. <laughs> Alexandra Catherine Qua Coxey, Career Studies Certificate, Graphic and Media Arts. Lucas E. Berrigan, Associate of Science General Studies, magna cum laude. <laughs> Elizabeth Carol, Carol Jehoda Wasung, Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts, summa cum laude. <laughs> Santiago Reina Heno, Associate of Science Engineering, cum laude. <laughs> Milo Joseph Penzel, Associate of Science, Science, summa cum laude. Wen Ling Massey, Certificate, Practical Nursing, cum laude. Takira A. Emery, Certificate, Practical Nursing. Milani G. Madison, Certificate, Practical Nursing. Maria Dansunsu, Associate of Science, General Studies. Hannah Vivian Staten, Associate of Science, Information Systems Technology, magna cum laude. 
Efrosini D. Dianelli, Associate of Applied Science Information Systems Technology, specialization in cybersecurity, and a career study certificate and network support, summa cum laude. Grant Michael Gardner, Associate of Applied Science and Information System Technology, Cybersecurity, cum laude. <laughs> Kayla M. Waite, Career Study Certificate, Graphic and Media Arts. <laughs> Megan Alejandra Adams, Associate of Science General Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Anastasia N. Boris, Associate of Science General Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Everett Edgel Castell III, Associate of Applied Science Radiography, Magna Cum Laude. Jordan Marie Anise, Associate of Applied Science Radiography, Summa Cum Laude. Isabel Grace Pridgen, Associate of Applied Science Radiography, Summa Cum Laude. Kate Evans DeBoard, Associate of Applied Science Radiography, Summa Cum Laude. Kaylee Renee Shipp, Associate of Applied Science Radiography, Summa Cum Laude. Catherine Grace Young, Associate of Science General Studies, Cum Laude. Sally Ann Stinney, Associate of Applied Science Radiography, Summa Cum Laude. Linda K. Chirath, Associate of Applied Science Radiography, Summa Cum Laude. Ismail Mumbasi Madinga, Associate of, Applied, Associate of Science General Studies. Brock Alexander Davis, Associate of Science, Science Cum Laude. Emma L. Glover, Associate of Science, Science, Magna Cum Laude. Joseph Austin Dorgan, Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts, Summa Cum Laude. Paul A. Gay, Associate of Science, General Studies. Rosemary C. Hill, Associate of Science, General Studies. Danetta W. Rux, Career Study Certificate, Foundations of Criminal Justice. Carlita R. Hairston, Career Study Certificate, Medical Administrative Support Assistant. Norman Adderall Doris, Jr., Associate of Science General Studies and a Career Study Certificate in Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Sydney M. Brookman, Associate of Science General Studies. Sean Thomas Hennehan, Associate of Science, Computer Science. Liam Alfred Steinke, Associate of Science, Computer Science, Magna Cum Laude. Mark Anthony Barstow, Jr., Associate of Science, General Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Elvis Masinovic, Associate of Science, Engineering, Magna Cum Laude. Caleb James Stoltz, Associate of Science, Computer Science, Magna Cum Laude. Matthew Gregory McBride, Associate of Science, Computer Science, Summa Cum Laude. Eric Alexander Wells, Jr., Associate of Applied Science, Emergency Medical Services, Paramedic. Philip Elliott Cole, Associate of Science, General Studies, Cum Laude. Stephen Pasika, Associate of Science, General Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Han T. Dang, Associate of Science, Science, Cum Laude. Karen K. Smith, Career Study Certificate, Web Technologies. Shane Clements, Certificate, Early College Graduate, Summa Cum Laude. Samuel Warren Hess, Associate of Science, Science, Cum Laude. Christine Marie Myers, Associate of Applied Science, Diagnostic Medical Sonography, Summa Cum Laude. Catherine Renee Baker, Associate of Applied Science Diagnostic Medical Sonography, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Jenna Lee Harris, Associate of Applied Science Diagnostic Medical Sonography. <laughs> Briera Lachey Dibble, Associate of Applied Science Diagnostic Medical Sonography, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Katie L. Simmons, Associate of Applied Science Diagnostic Medical Sonography, Magna Cum Laude. 
Arjuna Avula, Associate of Science General Studies, Cum Laude. <laughs> Nicholas Orion Hittinger, Associate of Science General Studies, Career Study Certificate, Criminal Justice. Kalani M. Bennett, Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts. Tamari Danielle Dillard, Associate of Science, General Studies. Cassidy Paul Willis, Associate of Science, General Studies. Ashley Henshaw, Associate of Science, Education. Robert L. Edmonds, Associate of Science, General Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Dolores Rufaro Hove, Associate of Science, Education. <laughs> Daniel Sanchez Sanchez, Jr., Associate of Applied Science, Industrial Electronics Technology. <laughs> Javon Hunter Mallory, Associate of Applied Science, Industrial Electronics Technology, Cum Laude. <laughs> Justin L. Pineda Perro, Associate of Science, General Studies, Summa Cum Laude. Sahar Abdullah, Associate of Science, Business Administration. <laughs> Nashley Ann Yaliz Isaac Molina, Associate of Science, General Studies. <laughs> Emily Cotton, Associate of Science, General Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Gavin Michael Stewart Erskine, Associate of Applied Science, Police Science, and Associate of Science, General Studies, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Anthony R. Santana, Associate of Applied Science, Industrial Electronics Technology, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Emily Ann Harmon, Associate of Science, General Studies. <laughs> Lyasia E. Wren, Associate of Science, General Studies, Cum Laude. Abigail Marie Snoddy, Associate of Science, General Studies. <laughs> Natalie A. Hairston, Associate of Applied Science and Surgical Technology, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Brianna Lynn Campbell, Associate of Science, General Studies, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Destiny Jalea Meredith, Associate of Science, General Studies, Summa Cum Laude. Catherine Lee Powell, Associate of Science, General Studies, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Linda Parrish Christian, Associate of Science, General Studies, Summa Cum Laude. Yeah. Bethany Cheyenne Talley, Associate of Applied Science, Police Science, Career Study Certificate, Advanced Criminal Justice, and Career Study Certificate, Foundations of Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Aram Ibrahim Jukarder, Associate of Applied Science, Informational Systems Technology, Cybersecurity, Cum Laude. <laughs> Jacob Patrick Flagg, Associate of Applied Science, Culinary Arts, and Career Study Certificate in Professional Cooking. <laughs> Connie Willis Stanley, Associate of Science, Business Administration, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Karen Ann Segrist, Associate of Arts, Specialization in Art. Summa Cum Laude. Sura H. Abeloff, Career Study Certificate, Pharmacy Technician. Rama Hamodi, Career Study Certificate, Pharmacy Technician. William Copeland Stewart, Associate of Science, Computer Science, Career Study Certificate, Computer and Network Support. Lydia Grace Bach, Associate of Science, General Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Kelly Taylor, Certificate Early College Graduate, Cum Laude. <laughs> Riley Yowell, Certificate Early College Graduate, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Gabriel Carice, Certificate Early College Graduate, Cum Laude. <laughs> Latasha N. Struther, Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts and Associate of Arts, Theater and Drama, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Rachel Christine Yoder, Associate of Science, General Studies. Angel N. Stanley, Associate of Science, Science. 
Say Chill, Taichen, Chalabi, Associate of Applied Science Information Systems Technology, Cybersecurity, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Ashley Megan Staten, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing. <laughs> Rachel Lynn Tomlin, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing. <laughs> Joan McKinley Clore, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing. Vincent Charles Jean-Pierre Guy Jacot, Associate of Science Engineering, summa cum laude. <laughs> Tony L. Eubanks, Career Study Certificate, Early Childhood Development, Preschool. <laughs> Quinton R. Johnson II, Associate of Science, General Studies, cum laude. <laughs> Christopher Michael Welch, Associate of Applied Science in Police Science, Certificates in Foundation of Criminal Justice and Advanced Criminal Justice, summa cum laude. Maria Balin Rojas, Associate of Science Business Administration, summa cum laude. Brandon Alexander Bickley, Associate of Science Science, magna cum laude. Latora Johnson, Associate of Applied Science, Police Science. Emily Frances Gooden, Associate of Applied Science Nursing, magna cum laude. <laughs> Katerina Cook, Associate of Applied Science Nursing, cum laude. <laughs> Christopher William Kust, Associate of Applied Science Nursing, cum laude. <laughs> Daniel W. Hawkins, Associate of Applied Science Nursing. Kristen Sullivan, Associate of Applied Science Nursing, magna cum laude. <laughs> Patricia Louise Hooper, Associate of Applied Science Nursing, cum laude. Amanda M. Meadows, Associate of Applied Science Nursing, cum laude. Alva Ibarra, Associate of Applied Science Nursing. Carissa Kathleen Stevie, Associate of Applied Science Nursing, cum laude. Kevin Daryl Lewis, Associate of Applied Science Nursing, magna cum laude. Casey R. Kaufman, Associate of Applied Science Nursing. Jada Mahogany Stinney, Associate of Science General Studies. Jenna Elizabeth Mann, Associate of Science General Studies, summa cum laude. Isabella D. Dickerson, Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts, cum laude. Leah Rosemary Weston, Associate of Science, General Studies, magna cum laude. Carrie A. Slinkman Carrick, Associate of Science, Business Administration, magna cum laude. Edward L. Rondo, Associate of Science, Business Administration. Charles Kyle Foy, Associate of Science General Studies, magna cum laude. Ryan Scott Thacker, Associate of Science Science, cum laude. Jonathan Perry, Associate of Science General Studies. Zuled Mercedes Stiff, Associate of Arts Fine Arts, Theater and Drama, summa cum laude. Rachel Melody Eisenhardt, Associate of Applied Science Nursing and Associate of Science General Studies. Michael Randall Murphy, Associate of Science Engineering. Seth David Delaney, Associate of Arts Liberal Arts, summa cum laude. Darian Kingsley Harrop Williams, Associate of Science Engineering, magna cum laude. Lucas Glenn Ward, Associate of Science General Studies, summa cum laude. Bradley Stewart Keats, Associate of Science General Studies, magna cum laude. Robert Edward Samuels, Associate of Science Business Administration, summa cum laude. Joshua Thomas Hardy, Associate of Science, Computer Science. Stephanie Helen Owen, Associate of Science General Studies. Stacy Lee Dowdy, Associate of Arts, Specialization in Art and a Career Study Certificate in Graphic and Media Arts, summa cum laude. 
Jansu Ozelbult, Career Study Certificate, Graphic and Media Arts. Goli M. Usmanov, Associate of Applied Science Management. Jennifer Dawn Shepard, Associate of Science Business Administration, summa cum laude. Sebastian Sky Haynes, Associate of Arts and Liberal Arts, cum laude. Christian Anthony de Cesare, Associate of Science Business Administration, cum laude. Riley Catherine Woodard, Associate of Science Education, cum laude. Austin M. Cooper, Associate of Science General Studies, cum laude. Shalaria D.F. Tyree, Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts, and Associate of Arts in Art. Ashley Jade McCready, Associate of Science, General Studies. Dylan Montgomery, Associate of Science, Business Administration. David Lowell Starr, Associate of Science, Engineering. Laurel Gray Mal Malloy, Associate of Science General Studies, summa cum laude. Elisa Ray Duncan, Associate of Science General Studies, cum laude. Lillian Bryn Downey, Associate of Arts Liberal Arts, summa cum laude. Maria Kim Willis, Associate of Science General Studies. All right, ladies and gentlemen, one more time for the graduates for the class of 2022. So graduates, now it's time for you to hear from one of your own. It's my pleasure to introduce to you your class of 2022 student speaker for the graduates, Tiara Strait. Let me tell you a little bit about Tiara. Not quite yet. <laughs> Tiara is a first generation college student. She started her studies at PVCC in 2018, majoring in business administration. Throughout her time at PVCC, she was a leader both in and outside of the classroom. Tonight, she was awarded an Associate of Science degree in Business Administration with high honors earning a 3.6 GPA. In addition to her scholarly achievement, Tiara has been a leader on campus. She served as president of the Black Student Alliance, a member of the International Club, and she served as one of two student representatives working to hire the next president of PVCC. She has been selected to attend a study abroad opportunity in Paris, France this summer, being one of only 12 other community college students across the nation to be selected for this opportunity. In addition to all of this, Tiara works two part-time jobs. One is a, as teaching kindergarten and first graders, and the other as being an online high school mentor. She will transfer to this fall to Virginia Commonwealth University to study marketing. Of her time at PVCC, Tiara says, PVCC gave me the opportunity to grow as a student and as an individual. The diversity, sense of community, and space to grow that exists at PVCC positively affected my experience as a college student. Tiara, we're glad you made PVCC a part of your journey, and we wish you the best of luck in the future. It's now my distinct pleasure to introduce to you your class of 2022 student speaker, Tiara Strait. Good evening, my name is Tiara Strait and I have been attending PVCC for the last two years. Well, it's actually one year and 50 weeks because I started out at James Madison University. I graduated from Charlottesville High School in 2020 and went straight to JMU with nothing but high hopes. No offense to all the JMU Dukes out there, but it just wasn't the college for me. It didn't have that, this is where I belong feeling, which was a non-negotiable for me. I ended up transferring to PVCC, moving back home, and starting a few weeks late in my classes here at Piedmont. I can remember being so stressed out. I was trying to withdraw from JMU while trying to enroll in classes at Piedmont, and everyone who's had to enroll in classes knows how stressful that can be. However, I can stand at this podium today and confidently tell you all 
transferring to Piedmont was the best decision I could have made. If someone would have told me I would go on to become the president of the Black Student Alliance, or that I would join the International Club and meet students from all around the world, or that I would be on the President Transition Board and help pick the next president of PBCC, I would have said no, not me. When I first enrolled at PBCC, I simply saw it as a stepping stone. I was on track to get my associates and transfer to another school, and that's all I cared about, to be honest. I didn't think I would meet the most amazing friends, professors, and advisors. I never pictured myself flying across the country to do geology research in California. I'm a business major, by the way. I never in a million years thought that I would have the honor to speak at graduation. But here I am today. Here we all are today. I'm sure we all have our own stories about PVCC. I'm sure we all probably had a moment where we cried, or we screamed, or we just wanted to give up. I know I did. I had to take accounting. <laughs> but we made it. We are graduating today. I know, unfortunately, some of us did not get to have this experience with our high school graduations. However, it is wonderful to be here today and see everyone smiles. The student body would like to thank Dr. Frank Friedman on his retirement after 23 amazing years at PBCC. I also would like to thank my family, friends, and amazing professors that have supported me along the way. I would not be here without you guys. Thank you to the graduates, faculty, and family members that have supported my peers as well. As I close, I would like to offer support to my peers. I know we've all worked very hard to get here. The best way I can think to end is with a piece from Maya Angelou's book, a letter to my daughter. You may not control all the events that happen to you, but only you can decide not to be reduced by them. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2022. <laughs>